Hey everyone, this is Tankenstein. Today I will be bringing you your complete achievement guide for War Thunder and how to earn millions of silver lines without spending a single dollar of your hard-earned cash. I'll be going over the maximum output for each achievement as well as what you will likely end up earning without spending years playing the game. Please subscribe at the end if you like my content, but either way, let's get into it. So to start, I'll just show you exactly where to find your achievements, and some people might not know that, uh, where to find it, but it's real simple. So you just click on your profile button here, go for, from profile, beyond service records, past medals, and you'll find your achievements, and this is where all the magic happens. Uh, it's a really cool place. You can track exactly where you are. You can kind of determine exactly what achievements you want, might want to get next. And before I kind of get into that, I'll just show you that right here, this is exactly where you'll find your event progress. So if there's an event, maybe like a, a tank grinding event that you want, or you know, there's a plane that you might want to grind in the event that you're currently in, this is where you'll get it. Right now you have the Italian Fleet Closed Beta Test, the CPT, and this is uh, exactly where you'll be able to track uh, where you are in terms of uh, being able to gain access to that. And again, you can find where you are when trying to get vehicles, so on and so forth. Either way, that's another story for another time. Now for achievements, this is again where the magic happens. And really the low hanging fruit is going to be the first page that you see. So just watch credits to the end, you get a thousand silver lions, uh, you know, starting a non-standard camo pattern, so on and so forth. Read the encyclopedia. Simply, you can just go down here, click info. Uh, there's another one for replays. Just click on replays here under the community tab, view replay, and then you can save it. Real, real, real simple stuff. And bear in mind, I did calculate two separate totals for about how many silver lines you will get in this. Uh, so if you are a more dedicated player who's played for years, you should more or less be able to get over 6 million Silver Lions uh, just for playing the game without spending a single dollar. Now, if you're kind of a more casual player or you've only played for about a year, year and a half, give or take, you can expect to see anywhere between around 1.5 uh, to around 4 or 4.5 million Silver Lions. So there's still tons of rewards out there for people who might not even play as much. And again, the low-hanging fruit, this won't really give you all too much. But it is kind of a cool way to get you introduced to the achievement system and also introduced to the game. Now, don't pay attention to this. You do have to get the dynamic campaign to get this one. And I did not factor in this 10,000 Silver Lions into my final tally of how many Silver Lions you can get. Uh, but if you do want to buy the dynamic campaign for a few dollars, you can certainly do that. And just complete a mission, you'll get 10,000 Silver Lions. Real simple. But where the magic really, really happens, so I've been talking about a lot of magic happening here, is if you go to the bottom of the mat, of the missions page here, and you can see by completing 5,000 missions, you can get 100,000 Silver Lions. More reasonably, if you complete 1,000 missions, which is one-fifth of that, you can get 50,000 Silver Lions. So for one-fifth of the missions, you can get half the reward. That's a really, really cool thing. And that's just for playing the game. You could lose all those missions. I don't know how that's possible, but you could certainly do that, and you still get 50,000 Silver Lions. Uh, now, below that, you have a more difficult one. You have to win the missions, and you can get up to 500,000 or half a million Silver Lions. Really, really impressive. Or, more reasonably, 100,000 Silver Lions. So, for my more reasonable estimates between around 1.5 and 4.5 and million Silver Lions, uh, I based it on either rank 4 or 5, or really the second or third highest rank in any of the achievements that I've kind of listed. So some of these do not have Silver Lion rewards and I did bear that in mind here. So in this one, it's really actually not all that difficult to get to rank five. 1,000 missions played is fairly achievable within about a year, year and a half. Even if you just play three uh, missions a day, uh, you will be able to do that over the course of a year. Uh, a lot of people don't do that. So, I mean, you could play three missions every other day or whatever and it might take two years, it's not all that crazy difficult. And this is a game that you might be playing on and off for two years, three years, four years, whatever. So people like me are trapped in it for years and that's why I have so many achievement points. 
Uh, so further, you can just go to miscellaneous, and there are some of these achievements that do cost silver lines to make silver lines. So bear that in mind. Uh, this one, for example, does cost thirty thousand uh, just to be able to get thirty thousand. So more or less, it does act as a reimbursement, and there are several of these. And I'm not counting free uh, or convertible experience in this, just because I have twenty three million convertible experience and uh, or RP. And the thing with convertible RP is that you have to spend golden eagles to actually use it and golden eagles is a premium currency that either you have to spend a relatively limited uh, wager that you might have or uh, you have to spend actual cash to get this and then you have to spend actual cash essentially to spend these and we're not about spending cash today so you can get 30,000 uh, silver lines to get this and it's pretty easy to do just get into a b29 or something a similarly high a repair bomber and go into realistic and you should be able to just get that i believe there are a few that you can get into arcade as well but either way it's not all that crazy tough you just have to get to around rank four or five in a lot of nations to be able to get that thirty thousand repair cost beyond that it's pretty simple uh you just have to repair a vehicle on your own so just go down here click off repair get damaged in a match to get destroyed in a match once the match is over, you can just kind of go over to wherever the damaged or destroyed vehicle is. Just hover over it, repair it, and boom, you have 10,000 silver lions. Uh, it's real simple. You can do this at the very beginning of the game if you just started, and you'll be able to get 10,000 silver lions for a very cheap repair. Obtain new weapons. This is just once you uh, reload. So basically, if you spend 10 shells at the uh, in a match, you will be able to get... 10 or 10,000 silver lines just by uh, buying 10 shells for your uh, tank at the end of the match or you know really once once uh, you're in the menu screen and all of these follow the same pattern obtain a modification for a vehicle real simple you you have a reserve vehicle or uh, level 1.3 whatever br 1.3 you can just simply get like the tracks on a tank and you will be able to get this real simple 20,000 silver lines between all of these just these three alone, you have 40,000 free silver lions that you, if you are, especially if you're a beginner uh, player, you can just buy the, uh, you'll be 10,000 silver lions away from getting that extra crew slot. And bear in mind, this one's completely ridiculous. You only get 5,000 free or convertible research points for saving 5 million silver lions. I wouldn't even bother with it. Uh, again, convertible research is totally a waste of time. 5,000 compared to the 23 million I have, it's a drop in the bucket. And I wouldn't even notice if I lost it. I wouldn't notice if I lost a million convertible experience. Now, beyond that, you can get a helicopter. You only get 5,000 silver lines back from it. I wouldn't really recommend it unless you have the silver lines to spend. But beyond that, these are kind of your mastery uh, sort of uh, achievements. So really to get up to rank three is not all that bad, but even rank two, you'll be able to get 25,000 silver lions uh, with any of these. And all you have to do is just purchase five vehicles, five aircraft. And if you hit 10 aircraft, the reward doubles to 50,000. And bear in mind that you actually get a reward each time. So you get 25,000 here, and then you get 50,000. So you're not gonna get 25,000. And because this is two times that, you'll get 25,000 here. It's not the case, you'll get separate rewards each time. So these are fairly easy to get. I mean, really just to get five vehicles might only take you a week or two if you're a casual player. And I mean, between all of these, you're looking at hundreds of thousands of silver lines. Really easy to get. I would definitely recommend it. Just putting in a little bit of time. Even if you purchase one vehicle for every nation, you're getting 10,000 silver lines for free. I don't really need the silver lines. I mean, I'm going to be spending them soon, but ultimately, this is how you get them. I would not have these silver lines if I had not got my achievements. And multitasker, this is one I would kind of veer away from. I mean, if you're going to get it, you're going to get it. It's 100,000 silver lines, but you have to master 100 aircraft, which is not easy. A lot of people have a tough time mastering 20. I've only gotten this because I played this game for five plus years. I think maybe six or seven, however long. Now, uh, now purchasing your first rank five aircraft, real simple. Uh, this is basically a reimbursement one. Uh, so you spend 500,000 or so on that rank five aircraft, you're going to get 500,000 back. Typically, these are going to be jet aircraft, uh, but it's really, really cool achievement to get. 
And just beyond that, you have kind of the same exact achievements over and over again. If you like to play tanks, this is where you're going to want to go. And bear in mind as well, so I've gotten rank 2 done. It doesn't look like I've gotten necessarily anything done because this is not lit up yellow. But I have gotten uh, up to rank 2 done. So I've gotten 25,000 here, 25 there, 25 there. Real, real simple. And these are mastery skills. So bear in mind with that, you do have to master them. Uh, so it, it's not really going to be an easy thing. You have to get um, all the modifications for them, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, and just really, as you can see here, purchase all modifications. Uh, so it's not going to be the cheapest things. And these are kind of reimbursement. But if you can do these with low-level tanks, spending you know a few thousand silver lines to get 50,000, well worth the time, especially if you're having a good time. And you can just kind of go on, go through this. I've already earned 600,000. I believe that's because my, uh, this, they've upped this from rank five to rank six. Uh, so I've already earned it without having to get it. I, you know, I think it's just kind of a mission creep sort of thing there. And you can just kind of go through, all of them have very, very similar achievements where you can earn basically the same rewards uh, just for different flavors of doing whatever. So, you know, this it's Navy, this it's tanks, this is the aircraft, but it's the same idea throughout. And crews, uh, these do not give you any silver lines, except if I'm not mistaken, the ones at the bottom, these will just give you uh, free experience or convertible experience. This one is not going to be easy and it will cost you over 50,000 silver lines to get. But again, at least it's a reimbursement and just advancement, this is more or less just going to give you uh, convertible experience. So for the most part, the easy ones that you can get are going to be kind of a mix of convertible experience and silver lines. But if you work hard enough at it, you know, you can more, even if you don't necessarily make a ton of money off of it, you're going to negate a lot of your spending in this game by getting these achievements done, by getting more or less the reimbursement achievements. And that's where you're gonna to wanna to go. Uh, it's really just an awesome thing for them to do. There are some other things here. You have your challenges, trophies. Trophies are basically, these are your Steam achievements. These are not going to, they're not necessarily easy, but these are things that you kind of get rewarded throughout playing the game. Uh, Sync 5 aircraft carriers, that's not really going to be a common one to get. I haven't done it yet. And it, you only get 100 silver lines from it. So unless you're really looking to bolster your Steam achievements or any other achievements, Xbox, for example, uh, these don't really matter uh, because you get such a minimal in-game reward. Either way, this is Tank Inside. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope you guys learned something from it. Really just look at those achievements. Really try to blast through tanks, blast through air, and you will be able to get millions of silver lines in no time. Uh, remember, please like, comment, subscribe. Either way, I will see you all later. Thanks so much for watching my video. Take care, everyone.